It's now been confirmed that Jos Klein was kicked out of the Eurovision because of his behavior to member of staff. On May 11th, the EBU released a statement where they said, Jost's behavior towards a team member was deemed in breach of contest rules and said that he made it not a safe working environment. The full statement said, the Dutch artist Joost Klein will not be competing in the grand final of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Swedish police have investigated a complaint made by a female member of the production crew after an incident following his performance in Thursday night's semi final. While the legal process takes its course, it would not be appropriate for him to continue in the contest. We would like to make it clear that contrary to some media reports and social media speculation, this incident did not involve any other performer or delegation member. We maintain a zero tolerance policy towards inappropriate behavior at our event and are committed to providing a safe and secure working environment for all staff at the contest. In light of this, Jos Klein's behavior towards a team member is deemed in breach of contest rules. The grand and final of the 68th Eurovision Song Contest will now proceed with 25 participating songs. Rumors have been rife that Yoast got into a physical altercation with a female member of staff. And because of them saying his behavior towards a team member was in breach of contest rules, everyone has came to the conclusion that this is their way of confirming that Yoast did indeed assault a female staff member like what had been heavily rumored all day. One fan said, this is a nightmare. Not only is Yoast out of the competition, but the way the EBU handled this whole situation is disgusting. Vague statements, fueling speculation, and now this veiled confirmation of assault rumors. It's a betrayal of our trust as fans and a massive injustice to Juiced. I hope he sues them for defamation. Another fan said, while Yoast's behavior was clearly unacceptable if these rumors are true, I'm still disappointed by the lack of transparency. We deserve to know exactly what happened, not vague statements statements and hushed whispers. This whole situation feels like a mess, and it's tarnishing what should be a joyful event. And finally, one more fan said, Interesting how the EBU statement mentions a police investigation. This could get very complicated legally, especially if Yost decides to fight back. He's already lost his chance at Eurovision, but this could turn into a much bigger battle over his reputation and career. The EBU might regret their vague wording later. For this video's comment question, are you on Yost's side or not? Before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on your favorite celebs. Thanks a lot for watching.